we are back in The Sims 3 and things look a little bit different and that's because I've moved my Sims. So I had to take a little bit of a break away from YouTube making videos. Um, not few choice but I just got very busy all of a sudden and I didn't have the time to record anything. So I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with a vengeance. But what I've done is I've took a bit of time to think about how I want The Sims 3 Let's Play to go. And I want to experience everything that The Sims 3 has to offer. And I just kind of thought, well, what's the best way to do that? So I figured that the best way to do that is to kind of go through each expansion. Now, I wanted to do a bit of a legacy challenge. But, um, well, we are going to do a bit of a legacy challenge. Because what I kind of thought was that we could kind of work our way through the expansions. Um and then move on to the offspring and they could do the next expansion or something like that or we could even play with some of the pre-made townies in uh, this town now the reason why it looks different to what you probably remember is because i thought the best place for us to kind of do and start from is uh, sunset valley is to go back to the beginning of the sims 3 and go to sunset valley so here we are we are in sunset valley now there are quite a lot of uh, townies here that you perhaps remember, like the Goths are here and stuff, but obviously they're not adults. Bella Goth and uh, Alexander Goth, they're... Um, not Alexander Goth. Um, Bella Goth and Mortimer. Uh, in fact, she's not called Bella Goth, is she? She's not married yet. Uh, Ali um, Alexander, I keep saying Alexander. Mortimer Goth, they're both kids. So I thought, you know, it might be quite interesting to see some of these uh, faces around town. And yeah, I thought I'd go back to the beginning. I haven't played in this world for a long time. So what I did was, if, you, if you're not aware that this is a feature in The Sims 3, it was something that they added in quite late. I'm sure it was, because you didn't always used to be able to do this. But you can go to the computer and choose move. And you can even move within the neighbourhood, or you can can move to a new town so that's what I did I packed them up moved them to a new town and um, I gave them a little bit of money because it does cost money for you to move towns also this is not uh, painted I'm not happy about that <laughs> um, and I moved them into this house it's not it's a bit of a fixer-upper uh, it's nothing nothing special I've just kind of gone in and, and made it a little bit better than what it was of the you know changed some of the wall colorings and given them this nice poo green uh, poo green poo brown wall covering and some better furniture and what have you so it's not it's not fantastic but um it's getting there so yeah we're gonna just try and um go through the expansion packs sort of see what the game has to offer try and see some of the things that perhaps we haven't done maybe some of the life states that you you can do um there's quite a lot of life state different life states in the the Sims 3, something which we don't really have much of in The Sims 4. So it'd be nice to kind of uh, experience some of these different things and go through them. So I thought I'd just give you a bit of a catch up to where we are. I mean, the last couple of episodes, we've not really done too much to be honest with you. All she did was meet this guy Simon which took ages um and yeah basically they're in love now so that is literally it. Uh, right, so the first expansion pack that came out for The Sims 3 was World Adventures. Um, World Adventures was released on the 17th of November in 2009, can you believe it, 11 years ago. And, you know, I, people do say that this game has potato graphics, but I, I don't think it's that terrible. Like, I think it still holds up pretty well. Well, anyway, so that was released in 2009, um, and it was reminiscent of the previous expansion packs, Sims Vacation and Sims 2 Bon Voyage. Now, obviously, there are three worlds that we can discover, which is Shang Simla, which is a um, Chinese-inspired world, and there is France, which is obviously... Um, oh, it's what is it? Champs, Champs Sim, Sim Lazy or something. Um, that's a France-inspired world, and then there is a um, an Egyptian-inspired uh, inspired world, which is um, and I can't remember for the life of me what it is called. Um, anyway, we'll get there. <laughs> so uh, we'll go to these worlds, and I thought that she's kind of so this is Astrid and this is based off uh, the character in Skyrim my favorite character in Skyrim um so I figured that she you know she's in the um fug she's a fug in the uh, criminal career so while she is perhaps doing that at home I thought that maybe she could um have her own uh nectar um nectar she can get into nectar making and stuff like that um and he could perhaps go and do a bit of um uh, like tomb exploration i don't want to 
delve too deeply into like the tombs i don't want to be like spending hours kind of going around all the tombs and stuff like that um i'm just kind of more interested in seeing what the different worlds have to offer for us and what we can do like all the different recipes obviously there's a new life state in this one which is the mummy so we can go and perhaps um try and befriend a mummy and or get bitten or something like that and then um obviously we can do a bit of the nectar making with astrid uh, while she's at home doing um uh, while she's doing whatever it is she's doing and then he can be a bit of a tomb raider um, obviously there's uh, plenty of stuff maybe we could even um, get enough visa points to uh, perhaps buy some houses out in these different places some holiday homes stuff like that yeah so we'll obviously we'll try and uh, get around all the worlds and what have you so first off um, I'll see if we've got any money to actually travel um, right let's see if we can travel anywhere Jobs and professions. Travel. There we go. See where's the first place that we can travel to. Is there anywhere cool for us to go? Right, so what was it called? Al Simhara, that's it. And there's Shamsla Sims. And Shang Simla. So it looks like it's going to cost, we could go to France for a total cost of 1,900 millions and we can only travel for three days. I assume that is because we don't have any visa points. Yeah, visa level zero. So if we travel there for a couple of days, if we take Simon um, on our trips with us um, and we can bring some stuff back. Warning if any of these sims currently have an opportunity related to change in the future. No, that's fine, we don't. We're not into the future just yet. Um, that is the, the last expansion that we'll probably look at. So, he's going to travel there. Hopefully, um, we could perhaps buy some stuff to bring back so that she can start making the nectar. Um, and, uh, yeah, I wonder actually, it's probably worth us taking the car. Yeah, we'll take the car with us. Um, obviously, we want to get all the recipes and just stuff like that. And I have got um, the wiki up here so I can look through and see what there is for us to do in the worlds and what like kind of weird like little eastery eggs type things and obviously, you know, stuff like that. But if you know of anything that we should do in France with our sim, then please let me know in the comments down below. And also, I would really love to know, what is your favourite um, travelling uh, world to travel to in The Sims? Do you prefer France? Do you prefer Egypt? Or do you prefer, prefer China? Let me know, and I want to know why. Why do you prefer them? So here we are in France. And look how beautiful this is. I miss things like this. I miss it panning over the neighbourhood. And you're just seeing all the things, and... Oh, it's just so lovely. Right, so here we are at base camp. And like I say, it has been a long time since I've played these games. So I am not going to remember anything. So it's going to be like a new game to me. <laughs> Basically, it's a new game. Um, I've recently been playing quite a lot of The Sims 2 as well. Um, and that was quite interesting. So I don't know if we need to claim a bed or whether we can just... Oh, we can set a bed ownership. So I think I'm going to come and set this as our bed. This next to the bathroom. So, and it's a nice double bed. So that seems like a good thing to start with. It's quite nice, actually. It's very, very French. <laughs> I've been to France, which was quite nice. I don't know if you've ever been to France. Um, he wants to visit a graveyard during the full moon. It's a bit creepy. I don't think we'll be doing that. Right, so first things first. We want to visit the market forget that this is um open world as well it's going to take some getting used to because i've been playing a lot of the sims 4 and a lot of the sims 2 and those games are just not open world right so let's go and see what we can buy from this dude <laughs> yeah. also, i also really like these shelves these are cool i remember these shelves and these look cool as well we can't buy any of these though. Who's this guy? Oh, he's a special merchant. Definitely make friends with him. Also, she's wearing some very funky glasses. Right, so this woman sells like relics, I think. Fossilized apple. 
fossilized amethyst. Uh, no, it's not fossilized, is it? It's just regular, regular amethyst. Right, let's go and give a friendly introduction to this guy. Also, yeah, what is she wearing ski goggles for? Weird. Definitely wants to buy a tent. I think we'll get rid of this one and you can buy a tent. And he wants to visit the Nectar. We're not going to be doing the political career, actually, because he's going to be uh, too busy out here. Oh, look, she's French. She's wearing a beret. Just to uh, stereotype French people because they all obviously wear berets. Oh, apparently this guy's lucky. So I don't know if that means that he's learnt that. I don't care what anyone thinks you're hot. No one said anything. <laughs> what, what do people think? <laughs> You've given me a complex. Right, I want to have a look in this place because we need to find... Oh, I'm assuming this is where I buy a tent from. Um, right, the... The uh, mouse is very sensitive when it moves around. A lot more sensitive than other games. I like this though, this is cool. Little cool little things. But, oh, look at this! This is cool as well. Like it's got the, the clothes hanging inside and stuff. Right, so we probably need to get some. Uh, some food. So I think I'll get a couple of those. We'll get some high quality stuff. Get ten of those. We'll get a couple of showers in a can. I get five of those. We've not got that much money, so I don't want to spend all our money straight away. Also, photography is a new skill in this game, so perhaps we should get a camera and do a bit of photography. Oh my god, I want a Ken Spar as well. And I want a treasure chest of Alouette. And a little boy soldier incense holder. I don't know, I just want everything. We'll get there, we'll get there. Right, so he's bought a tent and that made him happy. Where's the next place we can go to? What's this place? Okay, so that's the actual house, I think. What's this place? Oh, that's a cafe. Ooh, a cute little cafe. Let's go and buy some, let's see what we can buy from this guy. Turn these notifications off. I need to figure out how to turn them off. I've tried tried looking and I can't figure it out. Right, so what can we buy here? Buy a cold one. Popcorn, muffin, brownie, cookie, yogurt, bagel, pizza, Donut, breakfast burrito, tomato, anchovy, cheese, oh, fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. That sounds amazing. Key lime pie. Oh, I love key lime pie. Um. Oh, look at these. These look cool. L. Okay, so you can buy quite a lot actually. Mushroom omelette. I wonder which ones of these are. Oh my god, an extra cheesy pizza. Um, I wonder which one of these are actually, um, like the, oh, I assume French toast is native to friend, France, <laughs> and crepes, maybe, so I need to find the place where you buy, um, books from. So what's this here? This looks like, a lot of these buildings are quite empty though, which is quite disappointing. Like, this has a whole upstairs area, but it's just empty. I wonder if like you're supposed to live here and then buy them maybe? That'd kind of make sense. Right, what's this? Oh, this is the bookstore. I like the little bell tower it's got. Okay, I thought they were just bills there. Right, go and buy some stuff. <laughs> He's already laughing at us. Barbell. Gaston, <laughs> that is such a French name. No one fights like Gaston, no one. Mm. Oh, okay. I think that we should probably buy these because I think I'm pretty sure that each world has um its own... Oh, we're not going to be able to afford them, are we? Um, as its own recipes that you can only buy there. And I quite want to learn how to do them. I'm thinking that perhaps um, Astrid could be a cook 
as well as an into nectar making just because it makes sense for her to be interested in that so we can't actually afford these ones i'll just buy the first two hopefully if we go in a tomb we might actually get a bit of money See, this is like empty as well which makes me think that you're perhaps supposed to buy these buildings when you move here and do something with them right so we've explored all of the marketplaces where was that special merchant because i want to have a look what where's he's got it moves too fast here i can't remember where it was is he there he's not there oh here he is right go and greet him Wearing a very strange outfit. It's very blue, isn't it? It's like, like extra blue. And everyone's got like an earring, which is cool. Oh, what are you doing? Tourist. Tourists ruin everything. Um, let's have a look if we can buy items. I wonder if he can learn that um, uh, that greeting as well. I'm assuming that he can. I don't know how. Maybe he just has to do it a few times. So we had, don't have any coins available. But we can buy some cool stuff here. Oh, including these grapes. So that's cool. A certificate of partnership with France. Oh, I'm assuming that that's how we actually get to live here as well. So... That'll be good. We can get Avenolino grapes, Malor grapes, Cranale Nuala grapes, and Graladina Fran grapes. And I don't know if those are perhaps grapes that you can only buy from him. That seems like they, you can, and, and that'd be quite cool if that's the case. So what we probably should do is head back to base camp and check for adventures, because this is how you get adventures in this game. Um, obviously once you get an adventure from this board it kind of does follow on to a different one and you, and you kind of go from there so if we do that to start with because we could do with a little bit of money which we will definitely find a lot of money uh, searching tombs but also this is how you gain visa points I am looking for a daring soul who is willing to provide some assistance for an ample reward if you are willing please report to me Edith Morell so let's go report into her. Um, he did bring his car with him, unless she's quite close by then. That won't matter. Oh, I do not care about your dresser. So which one is Edith? Who are you? Evil Evelyn Fruchia. My French is terrible. I only know like one thing in, Fran in French. <laughs> yeah, my French is terrible. I can't even say it. What is she wearing? Oh my god, her eyeshadow. That is some crazy daring eyeshadow. Right. Ah, thank you for coming. Are you prepared? I need you to do a bit of underground exploration for me. You should never go adventuring without the proper supplies. Though I have already... Uh, da, da, I've gone too far. I have already given you some dried food, essential for staying nourished while you explore the depths of any tomb. In addition, you should always bring a tent with you. As it happens, my humble store sells both tents and dried food, so you should peruse my wares. Oh, I see. So you just got me over here to buy things. When peruse my wares, one we are done speaking. Now to your mission. I need you to head up to the old Celtic ruins and retrieve something I lost while explaining exploring there several days ago. I dropped it in a hole in the floor and didn't realise until I was halfway home. You will know when you find it. Now go. I eagerly await your victorious return. Oh, right, so you just brought me here to um, buy, thing, buy things and also go and basically pick up something that you dropped that's uh that's a nice lady actually leaving the place oh, okay he's getting in his car looking a little bit like a pound shop stone oh what's this oh excavate 
Yeah. Let's go do that. Who lives here? Who lives here? Who's dead here? Who died here? Well, this is cool. Like this. Apparently, not apparently, it says on the wiki, now I assume that the wiki is true, that um, this is the expansion pack that brought in the new cheat code by debug, which I assume means that you can actually um, use that to get these stones and stuff on your own property at home, which is quite interesting, because I always just assumed it came with the base game. Um, when I was actually playing this back in, back in the day, I didn't use many of the cheat codes to be honest with you. I didn't do a lot of building, so I didn't, apart from move objects and mother low, I didn't really do anything. Oh my god, he found an opal worth an impressive 806 million. So we're just going to sell that. Oh, it's plumbed up shaped as well. Because we need the, we need the cash. We definitely need the cash. So if you could hurry up and do that. Oh my god, he found an emerald. Cool. I like emeralds. I think they're probably my favourite of the gems. Right, let's go into the tomb before you run out of energy and whatnot. We get you to have some food. Oh, she actually gave us some high quality stuff. He wants to find a hidden door. I'm sure we will do that. Ooh, we will also find a brick. Yes. I'm assuming your wish is going to be granted by finding a hidden door. Titanium. Now I really hope that that is not too loud. I hope it's not too loud. It is very eerie, I must admit. They really do set the scene. I hope there's a toilet behind this door. Wow. He knows what he's doing. Knows his way around a pickaxe. Right, can you inspect that? I assume that you didn't just clear it for nothing. Behind door number one. Hey, you did that. Found a secret door. And he wants to buy something worth at least a hundred. Some aliens. Right, go and stand on this. I'm not going to try and go too in-depth in these tombs because that's not what I'm all about. And to be quite honest with you, if you are interested in seeing someone go really in-depth into the tombs and like show you every aspect of a tomb, then I recommend that you go and visit um, Blala's channel. I'll link her channel down below in the description actually because she's one of my favourite YouTubers. Um, and she really goes in depth in these tombs way more than I could ever be bothered to do so um, I definitely recommend that you go and watch her or explore away I'm just interested about getting I don't know just getting ahead <laughs> and um, kind of completing the tasks so I'm not going to be uh, bothering I'm not bothering about um, 100% in these tombs. I'm assuming that that's going to do this. Yep. Good. Right, clear these. And there's a little heart shaped keystone here. So hopefully, I mean, there is a door there that we perhaps need to go through, so we'll do these first. What's his, his mood, his mood looking like? Oh, okay. It was behind there. <laughs> that was easy. Right. Also, where did he get that pickaxe from? I didn't see him buy that. Sell, you sell that, I mean use that, so a bit of money. We'll go and inspect this because there might be some f cool treasure behind here. I hope. Oh my god, what is that? I need it. Oh, somebody left a body behind here. Weirdest looking face on it. It's a very expressive skeleton. I'm impressed.
Um, right, insert keystone. Go through door. Okay. Oh, I hate these puzzles. Alright, can you just pull this? No, pull far actually. This is the problem. I really don't have the patience to be going through these tombs so meticulous. Um I'm just very much about getting to the next the next room. Um, and I was like that as a kid as well. Oh, he wants to escape from a tomb. Okay. Alright, can you click those, please? We need all... We need all of the treasures. Also, is that... Oh, I quite like that, actually. Um, what's 20... Oh, 15. We've got 20 now. <laughs> the statue. <laughs> it's pointing at this wall. Ugh. Also, I would not be putting my hand in one of those. Don't know about you, but that's just not, no, not something that I would do. Oh, okay, so that's the exit. Right, pull far. Hopefully, we should be alright until he's finished this tomb. Right, there we go. Okay, and we need to pull that one far. What time is it anyway? It's 10 p.m. I might actually get him to have a little sleep. Um, I'm gonna put this down wherever we can fit it. Can we fit it anywhere? Right. Hey, who said you can use a shower in a can? That's a waste of a shower in a can. Right, can we not actually put this down anywhere? I thought you could put things like this down in tubes. What was the point of it? Right, okay, in that case stand on that and go down further. Okay, has it crashed on me? Oh, I thought it had crashed. I thought we would be able to do put that there. Something I'm missing. Okay, I hope there's space down here. Oh, okay, there's a tent down here, that's fine. You can go and sleep in there. And there's another skeleton! But this time, this skeleton is on a... It's on a blanket. Are we like trying to sunbathe or something? <laughs> I'm just very conscious that there are a lot of bodies and a lot of noises that I'm not sure about. Right, I'm gonna jump forward. I'm just about to wake Simon up, but I can hear somebody like laughing or talking and it's really making me feel uneasy <laughs> it's very um very spooky also who is this person all right so when he gets up he's going to collect this whatever it is and also read this plaque um since it is readable what else do you want to do fully explore a tomb okay i'm gonna lock that in i'm gonna get rid of this one because we probably won't be doing that anytime soon what is this? Can we steal this? No, we can't. Note is scrolled on the wall. Every good explorer should carry a tent and dried food at all times. The, st the stairs close behind me, but luckily I'm prepared. I'm confident I'll find a way out any day now. Okay. I mean, that's quite impressive that um, he brought the tools with him to make this plaque, but didn't bring the tools with him to dig out of a tomb. Some poor planning, if you ask me. A bit laggy. Right, where do we need to go then? He also wants to return home. <laughs> I'm not surprised I'd want to return home as well if I was in this tomb. Can we get here? If I get him to do that. Oh, he can, okay. Can you get here? Yeah, oh, that's cool. Can you collect that? Oh, that did something. I think. I think that did something. Collecting that, and he's going to collect this.
to inspect that. I don't know what that did. Um, it's got 117 ancient coins. Not bad, not bad. Um, can you insert that keystone into there for me, please? And go through this door. Why not? Just go through that door. Who knows? Right, open this. Okay, we've got two French relics and a titanium ingot. So we're going to sell that. And what? Well, these are not worth anything, so I'll just get rid of those as well. We've got a French broken vase. And a pushable statue fragment. So I think we'll keep hold of that. But I'm very unsettled about these noises that I'm hearing. You probably can't hear them, but in my ear it is really spooky. Ah, a French Droper Stone of the Stars. Oh my god, it's worth nearly a thousand spoons. Get that sold. You won't stand on this. A lot of uh, walking around. Oh, okay. Go through there then. Cool. Oh my god. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> the, no the music is so scary. How's he feeling? Oh, he's alright actually for now. I can open this. Oh, we got some French relics that we are going to sell because we are not sentimental. I collect that. Um, can you pull this? Yeah. Oh, we can't. Due to an obstacle. What's the obstacle? Oh, okay. Okay, pull far. And then pull. Oh, sorry, push even. Oh no, we don't want you to push it that way, douche. Right, <laughs> pull. <laughs> push. And five more. It's getting through these ancient coins. It's doing really well. We inspect that. Oh, we didn't inspect that. Let's go just quickly run back to that. Also, I think he might have fully explored that tomb. The hole is empty. Oh, plus, trust me, I know how that feels. Can you go and collect these? Ooh! Milor Grapes Nectar. Collect the loot. Nice. Collect, collect. A lot of remains down here. Also, did that guy not know that he could just go through that door and get out of here? Surely if he was an explorer he would have thought that he could. Okay. What is through here? Not open it? Oh, okay, it is open. Oh nice, what is this? Hope it's worth something. I'm gonna take that back actually, cause... Oh nice, French signet off King's burial ground. I right, um, go and open that. I like how it just says remains as well. Remains, remains. It's like not a very nice way to talk about the dead if you ask me. Okay, just found a relic. He's got those, you can sell those. And he's got another part of that thing, that statue thing. Hopefully, since there's a lot of sparkling things go into it, that this is what we're looking for. Yes, it is. And he's quite all right, actually, for a lost baseball, really? Great. <laughs> right, go through the door. this is the way out. 
gonna take us somewhere. Cool. So it's like a quick way out. Yeah, does he get anything for that? Oh, he wants to use escape dust. Right. Okay. Um, right, what time is it? Let's have a look. It is 6.08pm. We do have time to go and hand in this relic. And then I think we'll go back to base camp and uh, green him up. Okay, here he is. Bringing the baseball back. What is with her eyes? <laughs> that is some crazy me. I think she might have just bought the new Jeffree Star palette and was just, you know, experimenting. Right, ah, Monsieur, you have returned my precious baseball. I thank you from the depths of my heart. It is lucky, you see. I would never dare to go in a place like those ruins without it at my side. That is why I had to pay you to do it for me. Speaking of payment, here are some ancient coins. You will find these scattered around mo many tombs that you explore. Some merchants, for instance, Andrew Lefebvre, only accept these for their wares. The most interesting of items can be purchased with them. Now enjoy the rest of your time in Shams the Sims. And we've uh, earned 80 ancient coins and 35 visa points. Nice. Okay. That is cool. And are we like friends? Oh, we don't even know her. <laughs> Need to do a friendly introduction. Even though I risked our lives for her. And we're not even like got any relationship at all after what we did for you. Okay, uh, go home. You head back so you can do your business. Go to the loo, get a shower. Woo hoo, woo hoo! I think you can go to bed, so. Right, and this episode has gone on for a long time. So I'm going to leave this episode here. So we've managed to clear a tomb. We've uh, got a few visa points. We're not obviously anywhere near being able to buy a house out here yet, but um, we're getting there very slowly. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Hey folks, thank you for watching the video today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And in between videos, you can find me on Twitter at MGYT. Thank you for watching today and I will see you on the next one.